Hey you guys, today we're making Choso's pasta. At the core of his character, he is a loving older brother, which is sometimes how I perceive myself. You know, I have a little brother and I love him dearly. This pasta recipe cannot be more simple. Half a white onion, which I'll kind of show you how I like to dice onions. It's gonna take a bit off the top. Keep the root on there. We can peel off one layer. We're gonna go down this way. Make small little chunks. So after we cut it that way, you can kind of see how we have like a shingle action going on. We're not done yet. Let me cut it down horizontally. Let me see this good angle like here. Horizontal and one more horizontal cut. So this way the onion is already separated. And all we gotta do is cut down. And then we'll have little cubes of onion. Yeah, I'm part Italian, what can I say? Cutting onions and garlic is in my DNA. We got a bulb of garlic here. And let's just, how much do you guys think we should do? Two or three? You know what? YOLO. Let's do three. When was the last time you said YOLO unironically? Jeez, man. Simple way to peel garlic. A little violent, but it gets the job done. Take your knife, put it down here. Oh my days. Chef am I? I can't even crack open a garlic. I personally like to take the little butthole off the uh, garlic, but that's up to you. Give it a little chop. Just like so. With peeling the rest, make sure to take off the butthole. And be careful with your fingers. I'm doing this because I'm a TikTok chef. I know what I'm doing, guys. Personally, I'm not, I'm not gonna be kissing anybody tonight, so let's do one more clove of garlic. But even if I was gonna kiss somebody, I wouldn't wanna kiss somebody who didn't wanna kiss me back because I have garlic in my mouth. Because I would wanna kiss somebody who would also want garlic in their mouth, so. Turn the heat on. Artisanal olive oil from the farmer's market, I guess. You're gonna want a good amount because this is a uh, pasta. So let's go in with the onions first. Ah, fuck it, let's go in with everything. Wooden spatula. We're gonna get everything coated in the olive oil until the onions become translucent. And we're just about there. So at this point, make a little well in the center. And then we're gonna go in with a little squirt. Like so. And then sort of just cook this out a little bit in the middle. We're gonna add some cherry tomatoes. All right, while that's cooking, we're just gonna have some cherry tomatoes. Go ahead and add our cherry tomatoes into the pan. Just gonna dump all this in here. So then I'm just gonna add a little bit of water. So now there's some water in the pan. We're gonna go ahead and cover this with a lid and let that just a little flavor booster. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna rip up some basil and just put it in here. And this is gonna cook down. Let's get that stirred in. But I would say the sauce, to kind of cook down, it would take about 10 minutes. So while it's cooking, let's uh, get a pot of uh, water on the boil for our noodles. And ugh, it's kind of, kind of wet. The pot of water, we're gonna add some salt to it. So it be like two pinches. Another professional chef tip, uh, as you can see behind me, I finished washing all the dishes after I'm, while I'm cooking and uh, while we're waiting for the water to boil. There's a real art to measuring pasta because it's like, you know how many times I've, I thought I grabbed the right amount of pasta to boil and it turns out there's like double or triple the amount I can possibly even eat. Six to seven minutes, which gives me the perfect amount of time to tell you some funny stories between me and my brother. As you can see, I think with brothers, there is this bond where, you know, there was a lot of violence, you know, a lot of chasing each other around with kitchen knives or running to the kitchen after being chased around, unsheathing a, a knife to defend yourself. Yeah, I, I, I do. One of my saddest memories, I would say, was when we were in high school, we were playing ping pong 
in the uh, common room on like a break or something. And then, you know, he was a freshman and I was a sophomore and I um, think I was trying to show off with my friends or something or I, I don't know. One of those adolescents, adolescent days of angst and identity and wondering what your identity was, but he was he was trying to have fun and he was goofing off and I um, for no <laughs> I'm laughing, but this is really sad, but, but for no reason whatsoever, I just I slammed him to the ground in front of all my friends and uh, yeah, that was I don't know why I did it it was very mean of me to do a, to have done that. And but he, he took it like a champ. He didn't cry or nothing and he just But why did I do that? I, I don't know. Yeah. It was um for no reason I just I remember I used my right hand and uh I just grabbed him by the chest and I used my foot to sort of angle it at leverage by hit behind his feet and I just slammed him to the ground. That was mean. I'm sorry. You know, those stories I just told probably make me, probably makes me seem like a pretty bad brother. All right, so the pasta has probably boiled, so let's off the heat, turn off the heat. And this is where the excellent tool, kitchen tongs come in. We're gonna take the pasta, look at that steam, Attack on Titan. And then we're just gonna drop it right into the sauce. And it's okay if some of the water gets in there because we need some of that pasta water. And guys, this is probably the first time in my life where I've measured the correct amount of pasta. Oh my lord. And then now is when we take the, the, the tongs, so we just wise it around, you know, get it all nice and mixed up in there. Now I'm gonna move this pot over to the side yonder here. My hand is messing up. I don't wanna move the camera, but look at that pasta. I'm gonna grab a little bit of pasta water and just dump it in there. This would not be a proper Italian. Italian with a capital I dinner without a little bit of stinky cheese. Mm mm mm. Some Parmesan Reggiana. So let's grate a hefty amount of cheese in here because we want it nice and cheesy, guys. This is going to give it a little bit of saltiness because we didn't add any salt into the uh, tomato sauce besides the onions. Guys, that is way too much cheese. Said no one ever. Shut the fuck up, man. Shit. I'm funny as hell. Alright, so one last mix up into the cheese. And then let's get everything on a plate. Alright, you guys. Grab a good amount of pasta. Bring it to the plate. And then spin the plate around as you lower the pasta. Yes, sir. Just how I like it. Maybe not picture perfect. I'm gonna have to do a little Photoshop editing for the thumbnail clickbait, that is for sure. Guys, I would say I'm way more of a food stylist than I am a chef. Do a little bit of extra cheese. Making it rain, making it rain, making it rain like a strip club. But it's just Parmesan. For our last touch, we have one decorative basil leaf. Place right on top. And you guys, look at that. Tell me that is not the most brotherly pasta you've ever seen. Now, there we go. You guys enjoyed this episode? Leave in the comment any other ideas of any food we should eat. Mm. Wow, so simple. It's so fresh. It's quite lovely. The pasta is, well, perfectly al dente. 
and the sauce has this sort of intensity from the um, tomato puree and the tomato paste. And even without any sort of meat, it's still quite tasty. So highly recommend anybody out there who's an older brother, who's the oldest brother, like myself, hats off to you. It's a big responsibility. So take care of your brothers. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure to tune in next time. We make something even cooler. I have no idea what I'm making, but my birthday is coming up. I'm probably going to make like a strawberry cake. I don't know if you guys play video games at all, but my favorite video game is Portal. Portal 2 to be exact. And Portal 1. The cake is alive.